Hello everyone, how are you all doing? In this quick little episode, we are going to talk about storage. Yes, storage is a big issue for iPhone users, including me. As you can see here, this is my iPhone 12. It is 64 gigabytes variant and I have filled up a lot of storage here. I have filled up 60 gigabytes of my storage. In this video, we are going to talk about things that you can do to get more storage and get your storage back on your device without sacrificing and deleting a lot of your stuff. My name is Jay and you are watching Tech Hyped. Please subscribe to this channel if you are new here. I keep on making these type of videos for you guys. So it would mean a lot to me if you guys can hit that subscribe button. Let's get right into today's video. First of all, I am running iOS 17. So as you can see here, iOS 17 takes a lot of storage. So here is a quick tip for people using iOS 17. Because I have noticed that a lot of people using iOS 17 is having a lot of storage issues, including me. Number one thing that you should do is restart your device every morning. Yes, I have noticed that restarting my device every morning since I installed iOS 17 did actually freed up more than 500 MBs on my iPhone. That is a big thing. Like 500 MBs is a big thing when you are short on storage. So restarting your device every morning, it takes barely 15 seconds. So I would recommend you guys to restart your iPhone if you are low on storage. You can also do this restart thing on older iOS version as well. But since iOS 17 is a new version and it is a beta, it is more effective on the iOS 17 versions. Then the next thing is clear cage manually. For example, if I am going to talk about Snapchat, Snapchat and other apps, a lot of apps does give you feature to delete cage. So in order to delete the cage, you just have to go in settings and then you have to go here, clear data. Then you can find here clear cage. It is taking 485 MBs. Just click here and it will delete all your cage. That's pretty much it. Then for example, Telegram, you can also follow the same steps by going in Telegram storage and delete the cache used by Telegram from your device. It does take a lot of cache. Then the next step you can do is go in settings. And after going in settings, scroll down, then go in general, then click on shutdown. And after clicking on shutdown, click on assistive touch, press home. That's pretty much it. It has deleted a lot of the junk memories available on your device. And it has freed up around 200 to 300 MBs from my device. As you can see here, I already have used 59.67 GB and earlier it was 60.15 something GB used by my device. Doing this step again and again will get you more storage back. Then the other thing is use iCloud. iCloud is an amazing way to get your storage back on your device, the onboard storage. And using iCloud means that your device is in safe hands. iCloud is really, really good and it is really encrypted. Apple can't see anything. So I would suggest you guys to use iCloud and getting an iCloud subscription is also a good thing to consider. I personally do not have an iCloud subscription because I do have hard drives to store my data, but a lot of you guys don't have. So investing in hard drives is at the same time, it is expensive and at the same time, you do require a laptop to access it on the go. Hard drives are good and all, but it is really, really expensive and not the most easy way to store your data. Using iCloud means you can access your data anytime, anywhere and really, really easily. So I would recommend you guys to get iCloud on your device. Then the final tip is deleting apps and reinstalling them again. For example, apps like Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter and YouTube Studio, YouTube, WhatsApp, all these apps take a lot of freaking storage. If you go in storage and if you go here in general in iPhone storage, you will see that for example here WhatsApp 1.77 GB. Now that is a lot for WhatsApp. What you have to do is just go in WhatsApp, backup your data, backup your charts and all 
on iCloud and that's pretty much it. Delete WhatsApp, install it again and you will have a WhatsApp which is using barely 500 to 600 MBs on your device which means it got you back around 7 to 800 MBs on your iPhone. Well that's pretty much it for today's quick little episode. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I do come up with a lot of cool tricks and tips for you guys so hit that subscribe button right now it means a lot to me let me know down in comments below do you have more tips and tricks that you want me to share with other people you can also comment down below the tips and tricks that you guys are aware of that I have not talked about in this video with other guys so that everyone gets to help themselves and get some storage back thank you so much for watching this video this is me Jay aka Tech Hyped signing off